Namaste, everyone. Hallie Rose here with week three, and I'm going to try my best to uh, bring you new videos every week. It's a little difficult with my busy schedule. So let's all begin our practice. So today's practice, it's Twisted Eagle with uh, Anjali Mudra. So let's begin our practice. Everybody get comfortable on your sit bones. Sukhanasana, easy sit. So be it legs crossed or legs extended. A little bit of both. And if your knees are up really high, it's beneficial to take a pillow or a blanket and place it under the edge of your butt so that your sit bones are propped up and your knees will drop down. And sitting in Sukhanasana is much easier. So we always root down before we rise up. So let's soften and close our eyes. Take that external focus and bring it within. Open up your tailbone area. Root chakra and allow that powerful kundalini energy to rise up your spine. Feel it passing through the sacred waters of the sacral chakra. Basking in the fire of the solar plexus chakra. Breathing in the vital breath of the heart. Absorbing the ethereal voice of the throat chakra. Going through any disillusion in the third eye. And then lastly, spilling up and out of the top of your head. Like a fountain. Into the cosmos. And falling all around us with a blessing. So today's music was requested by one of our yoginis. I don't want to say a name. I don't want to embarrass anybody. So yeah, she requested Sting and the police. So I'm not sure how much the video portion or, or the music in the background comes through. But I did raise it a little bit, so hopefully I can hear it. So Mudra today, Anjali Mudra, it's left hand and right hand coming together. Left hand's feminine, right hand's masculine. And keep a soft space in between where it represents the soul. Anjali Mudra is transformation, transcendation. It raises our vibration. It helps us with repetitive thought patterns. It's the heart chakra, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. All etheric chakras. And everything, every body part. In the center of your chest and neck. So one more breath with this mudra. And then release it onto the somatic. Sutikrin is joint freeing. There's negative energy. So let's begin. Chins into the hollow of our throats. And all of your thoughts pouring out of your head into the earth. To be recycled, gathered up later and taken home with you all. Take that heavy head and rock it gently side to side. And you're already home, aren't y'all? <laughs> nice and easy. Works the cervical spine, anger issues. Try a complete circle all the way around. Clockwise is masculine, solar strengthening. Twice around. And if this feels okay, turn it counterclockwise, feminine, lunar, clearing. And if it 
hurts, we modify. If it still hurts, we take a time out. We do what we can and we leave the rest. Inhale, rising up inside your space. How does it feel today? Staticky. Sticky. Like molasses with sand. That's negative energy. And we want to clear it before it enters our body in small circles with the shoulders. Trust issues, the deltoid, trapezius, trapezoidal muscles, thoracic area. Inhale, shrug them up, press your legs down, create some space in your core. And then exhale, let's raise our arms and raise our energy. Keeping our elbows lower than shoulders. Circles with our hands, let it flow from your elbows. Accepting your experience in the elbows. From your wrist, keep clearing, keep loosening, keep healing. Rivers. And today, let's put the backs of our hands together and shake them out gently. Get rid of any tension in the wrist, hands, forearms. And then try making a complete circle. One more. Do a reverse clasp and some gentle tugging. Tug and pause. Notice how your breath goes all the way down into the bottom of your lungs. Fully and completely. Fully and completely. So we inhale positive energy in. And we exhale negative energy out. And shake out your hands and arms. And we're going to hang on and keep going with some addicts. Inhale, your rib cage. Lift it up off your waist. And then exhale. Let's do a rib cage roll. So just the rib cage. Reverse it. And if you have anything underneath you, time to remove it. And let's roll around on our sit bones. Clear those worries and fears that stop us from being grounded, connected to Gaia. Returning, have you taken a walk today? Have you gotten outside? We get grounded by walking outdoors. Corkscrew spiral in neutral and rock it back and forth. Anchor those sit bones, arch, and round your back. Opening up our joints, creating more space. One more. Soften up fingertips out to the side. Push off. Straighten that spine. Let's inhale and bring up the sun. Clean your aura, clean your space before it enters your body. And then let's turn to your right. And one hand in the front and one hand in the back pushes us taller. Just returning a safe seated foot. And then release. Let's come back to neutral. Inhale, bring it up to sun. How are you all doing today? And then exhale, we'll turn to the left. One hand front and one hand back. Push tall. Keep going. And then come back to neutral. Shishumna, balance of right and left. Masculine, feminine. Yin and yang, Shiva Shakti. 
feet up to your left. Draw down the moon. Slowly taking control back. We relearn patience and we keep our IQs up to that. Your hands behind, inhale your heart up and maybe your head back. Exhale, heads up, abs in and push your knees, your legs down towards the earth. Create space in your pelvic floor. That sacred yoni energy. Soften up and try one more. This time, pick up your sit bones. Squeeze them close together if you can. And then exhale, coming down slow. Or drop into a moss. Let's kick up that left foot. Let's work the feminine, the lunar side. Circles with your heel. Loosens up our knees, quite and even. Turn it. Pull this leg straighter and climb into the hamstring. Climb up this leg. Push your foot up. Lift up your heart and bring the leg in. It circles with this foot. Let it flow from your ankle. In flexibility and guilt. Return it. Getting rid of our socks. Well, this one, anyways. Bend at the knee and rock our baby. Working on the hips, fears of moving forward. Come on, guys. Bring this foot in a little closer. Challenge yourself. And then maybe this knee can push towards your armpit. So many different components that make up our hip. And we're going to turn the bottom of this foot up and work the roots of our toes. Take those thumbs and make little circles in the roots of your toes. And then the pads beneath those roots. Into the arch of your foot. When you all get to your heel, work the perimeter. Take a thumb or a couple of knuckles and a little circles all around the edge of the heel. Dead center of your heel. And then today we're going to work the pelvic floor, the sacred yoni energy. Put your left foot on the and take your fingers right behind your ankle and make little circles. Bringing healing energy into the pelvic floor, the uterus, the vagina, our bladder, sacred feminine energy. Revive it, restore it. And then tuck this foot in and let's do the right side, masculine side. Right foot up, tuck the left in in circles with this heel. Try me go. Turn it. Take this leg and pull it straighter into the hamstring, self control issue. Foot up, your heart up, and the leg in. Back it up, circles with your foot, let it flow from your ankle. Turning. Bend at the knee and cradle, rocking the baby. Bringing the foot in a little closer. Let's stay out of pain. Knee into the armpit. Doing the best we can with the bodies that we have. And get rid of this sock into the roots of our toes. Little circles with your thumbs. And then the pads beneath the roots. Into the arch of your foot. Any changes in your feet? And when y'all get to your heel, work the perimeter, a thumb, a couple of knuckles. 
dead center of that heel. And it's too warm to feet. Let's put them together in the front and pull them in close. And everybody's expression of close is different. Inhale, your knees and shoulders rising up. And your, your energy drops down and anchors you into the earth. Exhale, knees and shoulders, press them down. Lift up your head and your heart and your prana, your chi, your energy shoots up the spine and out of the top of your head. And then soften up. Let's push feet forward or back up your sit bones. Hang on. Breathe into your belly. Fully and completely. And then exhale. Let's fold forward without straining. We go to our mat. And we give thanks to Gaia, Mother Earth, and all she gives us. Let's back it up and go into wide angles. So these legs out to the side, your knees and toes, point them up. Inhale, push tall. Exhale, walk. Slide your hands forward. Go to your limit, Anjali Mudra, and let your head get heavy. And we pick and choose our intention for today's class. It's our Sankalpa, the one thing. Something that you've always wanted. Maybe it was the same thing that you uh, manifested last week. Breathe it in and breathe it out. See it coming into fruition in your mind's eye. Let's back it up. Let's walk, slide our hands in, and send your legs to the side, either to the, well, let's all go on the same side. Let's turn our legs in this direction and bounce, shake out these legs. And a little bit of hip walking up and down your yoga mat. Support it, unsupport it. Somewhere in the middle of your mat, let's bring up the saw and raise your arms above your head. And then seated sun pose, let's bow humbly forward. So reach for your feet, your ankles, your shins. Pull your navel into your spine and pull your face closer to your legs. And then let's complement that with reverse plank. Two hands behind, feet shoulder, hip width apart. Can you lift up these sit bones? Squeeze them close together. And then leg out. Let's put our sit bones down. Let's bring those that left knee in and push top. Push that right heel far away. Rib cage up off your waist. And then let's twist it. Inhale, push top. Exhale, twist and turn. Let go. We're going to climb up the mountain. So on top of your left knee, your right hand reaches up above your head. So stacking this sit bone over the knee, gaze up towards your right thumb. If you're stable, push your hips farther away. And then these sit bones, let's put them down. Let's change sides. So knee squeeze, that right knee, and push that left heel away. Good job. Solid. Open up all 24 vertebrae. And then we twist it. Left arm, right leg, inhale, push tall. Exhale, twist and turn. Keep going. And then climbing up the mountain on top of your right knee. Stack that right sit bone above your right knee. 
And then your left hand reaches up above your head. Stack the left hand above the right hand. Gaze up towards your left thumb. If you're stable, push your hips farther forward. And then sit forward. Let's put them down. Let's bring both knees up. And squeeze, knee hug, knee hold. And then spinal rocking back and forth. One more. Rock it up and keep it up. And we're rolling it over on all fours. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Arch around your back. One more. Let's pause and tell wag. Rock those hips side to side. And then calf flow and towel wag. Let's put them both together. There's no right or wrong. It's just your movement. It's your flow. It's the way your body wants to go. Reverse it. Unwind. And then to neutral, let's curl our toes under. Let's pick up our knees and push them to down dog. Can you get those heels closer as they're heavy? Bend that right knee and breathe into your left leg. Same side. Alternating our heels, pumping our feet. It's called walking the dog. Let's tippy toe in towards our hands. When y'all get close, bend the knees. Let's rag doll up one vertebrae at a time. Let's do, let's complement that with one supported back bend. Our hands behind, our owls close. Bend the knees, rock the hips, and roll that front upward. Heads up, we'll complement that with a forward bend. Right dial down. Knees are soft or bent. And then one more, right dial up, right into mountain, Tadasana. Bring up the sun, turning towards me. Anjali Mudra, bring it down in front of your heart. Let's bend our knees and back up our sit bones, feet a little closer. Twisted eagle, let's kick our arms to the right. In your lap. On your leg or outside your leg, twisting, turning, detoxing, right side of the body. See if you can lift up your left heel. Strengthens that right knee. So left heel down, bring your mudra back up into your mountain. Toes up, pull your kneecaps up, pull your mudra up. Eyes wide open, a big inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, lower your toes, back up those sit bones. Bow humbly and honor our inner teacher. Let's twist it off to the left. In it, on it, outside your leg, twisting, turning, detoxing left side of the body. And maybe lift up that right heel. Right heel down, bring your mudra back up into your mountain. Push our mudra up above our heads. Give the give back, an unsupported back bend. Channeling the energy of the cosmos into our body. 
Heads up, let's draw down the moon. How's your aura, your space feeling? Is it any clearer? Step our feet apart, upright, wide angle. Knees and toes, same direction. Rib cages out of our way, so our hearts are up in our chest. And soften up all over. Let's find warrior one on, on your right side. Turn that right foot right. Bend the right knee over the right heel. And your hips need to go in the same direction as that right foot. So back foot goes wherever it wants to go. But line up. Push your hips forward. Hearts up in your chest. Bring up the sun. Anjali Mudra over your head. Bring it down in front of your heart. Let's bow on the way forward. Let's twist it off to the side. In and on and outside that right leg. Doing what you can and leaving the rest. And then let's bring our mortar back towards our heart. And then push this mortar over your head. Release it. Unsupported back bend. Your warrior one. Let's draw down the moon. So our hands on each side of this right foot. Let's turn both feet in the same direction and let's try five mountain climbers ready to shift. One, two, three, four, hold it. Try five more. One, two, three, four, pause. Let's travel over. Back to neutral or shishumna. So bend your knees. Let's ride that up. Right into goddess pose. And you might want to reposition your feet. Bend your knees. Elbows lower than your shoulders. Spread your fingers. Spread your toes. Soften up and straighten up. Inhale, push your hands above your head. Exhale, let's draw down the moon. Pulling through your aura slowly. Is it getting any clearer? So we'll do it again on the other side. Let's turn to the left. So turn that left foot left, left knee over the left heel. The back foot goes wherever it wants to go, but the hips. Turn them the same direction as your front foot. Push your hips farther forward. Let's find Anjali Mudra over our heads. Inhale, bring it up the sun. Bring in your mudra down in front of your heart. Bow humbly forward. And let's find our twist. Off to the side. In and on and outside your leg. Nice detox. Body, mind, and soul. And then bring your mudra back toward your heart. Hips farther forward. Push your mudra over your head. Release your mudra, unsupported back bend. And then let's draw down the moon. Two hands on each side of this foot. Turn both feet in the same direction. And let's try five mountain climbers. 
And let's walk it out. Let's take it. Let's get out of this pose. And let's uncross our legs and put your knees close together again. Change legs, change sides. Kick back that, that leg that's farther away. And we'll bend and straighten our arms. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bend and lower and pause. So get that leg up a little bit higher. Challenge yourself. 
heads up cross that top leg over the bottom leg and back it up into cross-legged baby pose here. Maybe you can take it back farther. Maybe you can go all the way back into Gamuk or Garudanasana. Where can you put surrender? Check your heart chakra, your chest, your back, your arms, shoulders, hands. Check your throat chakra, relax your jaw, the root of your tongue. Relax your third eye. Let the thinking rise out of your forehead. Relax the back doors of your eyes. And we're going to walk slide it forward. Go to your limit. Come cross these legs. So back it up. Let's belly down. So chins on the earth, arms by your sides. Turn your palms up. Flying locusts, heads up. Inhale your head up. And then exhale your feet up. Maybe your arms, maybe your hands. Breathing in and out of your nose. When the going gets tough, yoginis get breathing. And soften up so your hands outside your shoulders. Let's take it into cobra. Inhale, breathe, and head up. Or maybe you can't. Maybe you want to modify it with Sphinx pose. Everybody, hearts up. Exhale, elbows, hug them into your sides. And soften up. Let's melt down one vertebra. At a time. And then extended cobra. Everybody hands outside shoulders. Right arm. Arm closest to me. Extend it. Chins on the earth. Inhale. Push up that far shoulder and look away from you. Anchor that hip that's farther away from you. Keeping your hips grounded. And then change arms. Send the hand farthest away from me out to the side. Chins on the earth. Do it again. Push up the shoulder closer to me and turn. And ground that shoulder that's farther away from you. Keep your hips grounded. Don't let this your hips lift up. Keep them grounded. Let's pause here. Breathe in and out of our nose. And breathing into the areas that are resisting the most. And then let's bring both hands underneath our forehead. Stack one hand on top of the other. And rest your third eye on your stacked hand. Bend at the knees. Let's do some cross kicking. Weaving your feet in and out. Realize our energies. Right subscar tissue from the lumbar section of your back to your ankles. And then we'll shuffle kick or flutter kick, one foot up and one foot down. So we're gonna back it up. We're gonna go, we're gonna sit back on our feet if you, if your knees allow it. We're gonna do lion's breath. So clearing the respiratory tract of germs, bacteria, viruses. But you don't have to sit to do lion's breath. You can do this anytime, anywhere. But in class, and in this uh, video, we're going to hang on to our knees. So lion's breath gets rid of stress and clears germs out of the respiratory tract. A big inhale through your nose. And then exhale. Stick out your tongue and make some noise. <sighs> Three times without sputtering means you're good. If you sputter, if you cough, you need to keep doing it until three times happens without any sputtering. Let's try it again. Big inhale. Let's exhale. <sighs> One more time. Big inhale. 
exhale. And then we're going to elbow walk forward again. So down onto our bellies and we're going to roll it over onto our backs. So we've got our abdominals to do yet. So let's stuff our thumbs, our hands under our butts. Bend our knees and push our feet up into the clouds. So hip lift. Keep the small of your back grounded. Shoot for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Take your time out if you need it. Four more, three, two. We'll show up and pause. Press your hands into the earth. And then slide your hands out. We're gonna lower the left leg. Climb up the right leg. Keep the right leg as straight as you can. Doesn't matter how far, how close you can get it in. Matters how straight it is. Gently ground that left heel. And then let go. Let's change legs. Change, or let's go back to our uh, abs. So thumbs under your butts and let's hip lift. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, push them up and pause. And slide your hands out. Let's lower that right leg. Climb up the left leg. Straight as you can. Gently ground your right heel. One more round. Kick up that right leg. Your thumbs, your hands under your butts. Let's do it. Last 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 more. Push them up and pause. Let's slide our hands out and go into wide angles. So these legs apart. You can support these heavy legs with your hands and elbows, propping them up. Turn your toes down, push your heels up. And then let go. Let's close up our legs slowly. Oh, we've got one more round to do. Thumbs your hands under your butts. Let's do it. Last 10, 9, 8, 7. Can you feel it? 6. The safest and the most effective way to work your abs. I think we're at 3 more. 2. Last one. Push them up and pause. So we're going to slide our hands out. Let's lower our hips. Let's bend at the knees. And Apanasana, you squeeze, knee hug, knee hold. Tilt your chin up just a little bit. Take the stress out of the neck. And relax your chin, your neck. Let's rock it gently side to side, rolling around on those marma, those trigger points. And then to neutral, here we go, gang, our hip open, our arms out to the side. Take our legs and twist them towards me. Go to your limit. Find your breath and breathe. Heads to neutral. Where can you all put surrender? Check the heart chakra. Chest, your back, your arms, your shoulders, your hands. Check your throat chakra, your jaw, the root of your tongue. Check the third eye. Soften the back doors of your eyes. Smooth the thinking lines out of your forehead. 
And then bring these legs back to neutral, or she's showing that. Change your ankle claws. Twist your legs away from her. Go to your limit and pause. So what can you soften there? Heart chakra, chest, back, arms, shoulders, hands. Throat chakra, jaw, the root of your tongue, your inner ear canal. Third eye, the back doors of your eyes, smooth thinking coming out of your forehead. And then let's bring our legs to neutral or shunna. So we're going to drop the, the left foot down. I want you to all grab your right ankle because we missed something earlier. So sacred yoni energy behind that ankle. Take your fingertips, little circles with your fingertips. Balance is important. There, we started with the right ankle, so into the left ankle. We didn't get it. We'll get it here. And then we'll drop those feet down, shoulder and hip width apart. Arms by your sides, let's hip up. Set to bandhu, sarvangasana. Shoulder blades closer together underneath you. Hips up a little bit higher. Chest pushes into your chin. Squeeze your thyroid, get the toxin down. And then without moving your feet, point your knees towards me a little bit. Small, subtle movement. And then point your knees gently away from me. Small, tiny little movement. And then hip knees to neutral. And we're going to roll our arms out and slowly lower those hips one vertebrae at a time. And we all touch down. Bring our knees into our cupped hands. And do some gentle pumping in and out. And in small circles with the knee. Roll your head around your shoulder. And we'll reverse and line. Go the other way. And then pry your knees apart. So get past those feelings of vulnerability. Relax your jaw, the root of your tongue. And we're going to drop our feet down. We're going to push our legs straight slowly. And stretch your hands, your arms above your head. Time to get tall. Big inhale. Yoginis, we don't shrink as we age. We stay the same, or some of us even get taller. And soften up and bring your arms down by your side. When you all touch down, we're going to make circles with our feet. Lift up your hands, circles with your hands. Roll our heads around our shoulders. And then reverse it. One more, clench your hands, curl your toes, grit your teeth, tighten up your glutes. Big inhale. So this is what, your, what happens to your body with the effects of stress. Everything's tense and tight and everything hurts. When you catch yourself tensing and tightening up, inhale, breathe into it, tighten things up and then exhale, let it all go. Oh, feels so good. So 
for a good time to find a pillow, a blanket, or maybe put a layer or two or three back on. I read another request. We're working all seven chakras. So we're going to do Kaya Kriya tonight, today, whatever time you're listening to this video. So Kaya Kriya is wonderful for uh, stress reduction. It's great for getting rid of stress. And stress weakens the immune. And we need our immune strong right now so we don't get sick. So when you're ready, we're supine, we're on our backs. Heading into Savasana. So some of you might appreciate a pillow or a bolster underneath our legs or our knees if you've got low back issues. But otherwise, you're flat on your back. music on for Savasana. So when you're ready, feet shoulder hip width apart, your arms about six inches from your side. And we reconnect with our breath and we breathe. So inhale. Feeling energy in. And exhale any chaos, any stress that we missed during the practice. Keep breathing. How does your breath feel now? Is it smoother? Does it go down into the bottom of your lungs? Or is it trapped in the upper lungs? Soften your belly. Soften your toes. Soften the feet. In. Feel your cranium sinking into the earth. And then let's do Kaya Kriya. Also good for inner ear issues. We're going to inhale and turn our toes inward towards our midline. And then exhale, turn your toes out away from your midline. Do it again. Inhale, toes in. Exhale, toes out. Inhale, toes in. Exhale, toes out. Inhale, toes in. Exhale, toes out. Relax your feet. So we inhale, palms, turn them up. Exhale, palms down. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms down. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms down. Turn our palms up and do our heads. Inhale, turn your head towards me. Exhale, turn your heads away from me. Inhale, heads towards me or to the right. 
Exhale, heads left. Inhale, heads right. Exhale, heads left. Inhale, heads right. Exhale, heads left. And then we put it all together. Inhale, heads right. Thumbs up, toes point them in. Inhale, heads left, thumbs down, toes out. Inhale, heads right, thumbs up, toes in. Exhale, heads left, thumbs down, toes out. Inhale, heads right, thumbs up, toes in. Exhale, heads left, thumbs down, toes out. One more time. Inhale, heads right, thumbs up, toes in. Exhale, heads left, thumbs down, toes out. And then heads to neutral, arms turn them up. And feet, let them fall right or left, up or down, whatever way they choose. Find your breath and breathe. Now we inhale gratitude. And we exhale love. Can you feel it? Can you feel your prana, your chi in the middle of your chest getting bigger? Can you feel it spilling into the room? Can you feel it pouring out of your home? Into the town where you all live. Into the county where you all live. Can you feel it spreading into your state? All of this love. Into the U.S. of A. Boy, do we need a healing. All over our planet. Visualize it, erase it. COVID-19 virus.
chakra, a nice place to return to. So let's bend our knees, plant your feet, and allow the minor chakras in the bottom of your feet to awaken the major seven chakras. our heads and gently rock our heads side to side. So we'll roll our heads towards me and activate the six senses. All of your recycled thoughts are returning to you, by the way. And if it's a good side, keep rolling over onto it. Be mindful of your head, neck, and shoulders as you allow your head to sink deeply into the earth. Your five values activate. Four cardinal directions. Your three nadis. So we're rooting down and let's Get ready to rise up. Heads up and use two hands and we're going to activate our two electrical currents. Mudki and Bhutki, upward energy and downward energy. Take our sit bones aligned underneath us. So we'll pull our spines out of our sit bones. Arms rolling and pulling into our lap. And our heads like a flame burning on a candle. And let's connect with the one soul. For we really are. Underneath the many layers of conditioning. So let's put our hands back together and Anjali Mudra and open them up. Time to plant some seeds of gratitude. So visualize something that you're grateful for. Turn that thing of gratitude into a star seed of light. And with your eyes soft and closed, plant it in your hand, your gratitude. Close up our hands and we bring this gratitude right into our soul shine. So your soul is located one inch to the right of your heart chakra. So let's put our thumbs on that spot of our chest. So that when we chant OM to end our practice, you can feel your soul vibrate. So we inhale, folks. Namaste, everyone. Much gratitude.